Did anybody tell you why you were being arrested? No. I was grabbed, taken to a cell. A day later, I was interrogated. I was able to deduce from the questions that I was believed to have connections to either Al-Qaeda or the Taliban. What evidence did they present to support this suspicion? I have never, ever been presented with any evidence. Two years later, after being abused and tortured, I was released. There again, no reason was ever given. Did you have a lawyer? We were not allowed to have lawyers. You told them that you had been living in the United States on a visa while attending Harvard University? They were not impressed. Mr. Kala, you've stated that you were tortured. Can you give us an example? I was beaten, repeatedly deprived of sleep. I was forced to wear a hood over my head, sometimes for days. I was sexually humiliated. How so? I'd rather not go into it. And what else? I was forced to lie in a fetal position, with my eyes and my mouth duct taped. The worst part was that we felt it was forever. We were never going to be released. We were never going to get a trial. One man, Ali, a friend, he was arrested with me. What happened to your friend, sir? Finally, he couldn't take it. <sighs> he hung himself. He committed suicide. The Pentagon called it manipulative, self-injurious behavior, an act of asymmetric warfare engaged against the United States. Was your friend a terrorist? No, he was a doctor. 